if we're going to have a cup of tea, we really need a teapot to make it in. This teapot is made using size 15 seed beads, an eight millimeter facet and a three millimeter pole for the knob on the top of the pot. Um, this one's been attached using a head pin so that you can uh, use it as a, a dangle on a charm, on an earring, something like that if you want to. When we get to the point in the video um, where we do this, I'll actually show you a different way to attach it so that if you don't want to have it with a, a loop of wire showing, there is a, another way we can attach the pearl. For the purposes of the video, I'm actually using some slightly larger beads to demonstrate with because they'll show up more clearly. And I'm also using darker colour. Um, so again, you can see what I'm doing. For the teapot itself, if you're going to make it, you need the size 15s. You're going to need a size 12 needle and approximately a metre and a half of single thread. Uh, something like a cream Nymo will do the job. You need to tie a keeper bead about 15 centimetres or so from the end of the thread to stop the first couple of rows um, slipping and then the rest of it will be absolutely fine. So I've got a contrast thread, a contrast bead so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to start by threading on the facet and then I'm going to pick up 12 of the smaller beads, so the size 15 seed beads if you were using the uh, proper size that I've suggested for the charm. I'm then going to, once I've got this down by the keeper bead, I'm going to bring the needle and thread through that bead a second time to make a strap of beads that sits around the side of the facet. Then we'll do it again. So we'll pick up another 12. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 and we're going to come up through that bead a second time to make a second strap so there's two straps to go two straps down what we're going to do is we're going to make 10 straps in total to cover this video uh, to cover this bead so i'm going to do another eight straps so what i'll do is i'll just pause the filming and i will show you when we've got that done so here you can see I've got my central facet covered with 10 straps of seed beads sitting around the edge, but you can still see there's quite a lot of the um, facet underneath showing. To get to cover this up, what we're going to do is we're going to add um, some short straps that sit around the circumference of the um, facet. We're going to add one to every other strap around the centre of the um, teapot and this should give us adequate coverage so to do that I'm going to pick a strap and I'm going to come down through um, nine beads so one two three four five six seven eight nine there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up six more seed beads three, four, five, six. And I'm going to come back through the last six beads that we've just gone through. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll come down through those beads there. And then we'll go up through the six beads that we've just added on. And now we're going to connect these to the next strap along. So we'll find the central six beads again and we'll come down through those and up through that six again, down. Now, we're not adding a strap to this next strand. So again, we're just going to come up through six and down through six. And then up through six. There. And then we are going to add a, a strap in this gap here. So one, two, three, four, five, six again. And come up. And down.
there and then up through this one. Oops, caught the thread around my finger there. And then down. And up. And again, connect this strap straight to the next one. Make sure you don't get any beads caught on either end. That's correct. And then add another strap of six. Now you can still see quite a lot of the black facet through the background on this bead um, but if, you're, you, if you use a, a paler coloured bead, a clear bead so that you can't actually see it that is, that is what I'd actually recommend you do, it's what I've done on the original here and the proportions of the beads are slightly different so you actually see a lot less through um, but always use a, a lot, unless you're using black uh, for your teapot, always use a lighter colour facet inside. I've just used this one so you can see what I'm doing because the contrast between the black and the green is strong enough that you can see where I'm going. Also, because I'm using a, a gold thread rather than a, a thread that matches the beads, that is also standing out. So um, make sure you use a, a contrast... A, complementary thread not a contrasting thread so we're nearly there and what this does as well is it gives you sort of a line around the top here which would be where you would imagine the lid of the teapot would sit so we've just got a couple more to connect Yeah, this one doesn't look like it's going to fit quite as nicely as the proper one should. Let's have a look. Yeah, a little bit more stretched. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, this strap is actually slightly shorter um, because I've got confused somewhere in the line with my big counts. So I'll just go through the central one there. So that is going to sit slightly off. Obviously, if you need to, you can just pop an extra bead top and bottom, which would be my recommendation. So we've got one, two, three, four, five extra straps. So this is going to be a little bit, whoops, no. So if I was going to do uh, a large size teapot like this one, this is a 
12 millimeter facet I'm using, then I would actually add an extra couple of straps. So I'd make it 12 straps of 12 and add the six um, beads in, uh, add six of the extra straps in between. But there we go, you can see that's mostly covered. Um, the smaller one here is much more covered than the bigger one, but that's down to the proportions of the beads. So there we've got all of our beads covered, pretty much. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add the, the handle of the teacup first. A uh, teacup, this is a teapot, but the, the handle is added in the same way. So we're going to come down through um, three beads at the top and then we're going to pick up eight three four five six seven eight and we're going to go down through the fourth bead from the bottom so it's actually the last one of the ones that are all connected on that strap around the middle and that will give us a, a decent shape to hold on to We'll then come, same as we did with the teapot, uh, the teacup, we'll come up through the bead next to it. And again, we'll pick up eight beads. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll then come back up through the bead adjacent to the one we started with. And that gives us our two straps of beads. And then what we're going to do is we're going to square stitch them together. So we'll come back down through that first one and then through the first bead of the handle and square stitch that to the last of the eight beads we put on next to it. And we're going to do that all the way down. This is the last connection on the actual handle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and I'm going to connect it to the same beads on the body of the pot again. So through that. And then we're going to tail thread out the way. We're going to run the needle up through that eight beads there. Oops, there. And down through this second, the, well, this one again. And then if you can get your needle through a third time to reinforce, that's always a good idea. If you can't, don't force it because we don't want to break any beads at this point. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through the beads at the top of that strap around and I'm going to come down through the hole in the middle of the facet and we're going to find the rows that sit directly opposite the handle of the teapot. So we're going to use these two long rows here and we're going to ignore this short row in the middle. I'm going to come up through four beads on one of the straps and I'm going to pick up seven seed beads. I'm going to leave aside the last two beads that I've threaded on and I'm going to come back down through the next four and leave aside the first bead that we put on. And make sure that's pulled up 
so it sits nicely, nice and tightly. I'm now going to pick up two seed beads and I'm going to go back up through the bead below the one we started the spout on and the one that the spout is coming out of, like so. Okay, up through there. And what that will do is it will support the spout from underneath so that it's pointing in the right direction to be a decent pourer. Then we're going to go back through the first beads that we put on. So through there, through the single bead on its own and through the spout. But this time, rather than going through both the beads on the tip of the spout, we're just going to go through the one and then we're going to come down through those four beads and it will push this bead slightly forward to give us the lip of the spout. And we're going to pick up two beads and this time we're going to add these beads to this strap here. So we're going to come through the third bead from the bottom and the fourth bead and this will pull the spout so that it sits across those two rows like so. We're going to pick up a single bead and go back up through the spout. Now this is going to start to get a little bit tight but you should still have room to go through. there. And then what we'll have is a double reinforcement at the bottom of this spout so it should stay nice and sturdy. Come up through that one. And down through that spout once more. And we'll come out through that bead, those two beads at the bottom. This is starting to get a little bit tight now. Like so. And then we're going to finish this thread end off in the body of the work, in the body of the teapot. So. so a couple of knots like this and then finish off your thread. So there we have our teapot with the spout. So all we've got left to do now is to add the knob onto the top of the pot. I'm going to start by taking this keeper bead off because that doesn't need to be there however we add it. So you'll recall I said at the beginning of the video that you can add it, um, the pearl for the, the knob on the teapot onto a head pin to give you a loop to add, add as a charm for an earring or a charm bracelet or as a little pendant, something like that. So to do that, you grab your head pin and pick up one of your seed beads, come up through that hole in the middle of the facet, which is going to be quite full of thread. So that'll actually help to grip your head pin, which is what we're aiming for. And then we're going to put the pearl on the top of the head pin, like so. So it'll sit down in there's like a little divot at the top, so it'll sit down in and then you just trim your head pin down and turn a loop on the top of the head pin and there's your charm made. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add it using a needle and thread. So to do this I'm going to come up through here, I'm going to pick up a single seed bead and I'm going to go up through the middle of the teapot with my uh, needle and thread and I'm then going to come out through the bead that's supporting the, uh, the bead at the top of the strap that's supporting the handle of the teapot and up through the one that's next to it. So the thread, needle and thread are now pointing across the teapot. I'm going to pick up the pearl and I'm going to go into the top of the strap that's supporting the spout of the teapot out through the other side 
back through the purl and back into the top of the strap supporting the handle. Now I'm going to reinforce this a second time so we'll go through those again. And through this side. And into there. And then again, we're just going to finish off the thread ends. And come through a few beads. And come down back into that strap. Now this is quite tight because there's already quite a lot of thread going through there. So if you need to skip across to another strap to give you a bit more room to work, then do. Tie that knot, and then we'll come down through those few beads, and then we'll trim off the tail. And there we have our teapot to go with our cup and saucer.